it's Miss Terry um, at the Carnegie Library. I do usually do children's services and today I am going to show you guys a turkey craft for Thanksgiving. So it's really, really simple and it's for you kids out there. Um, it's usually going to be for older kids, maybe ages um, six and up and maybe the six and seven year olds might be need a little help from parents and um, the older kids should be able to do this really easy no problem and so this is what we're gonna make I don't have an example with me but it's kind of like a little ornament type thing or even um, something that you could keep small things inside of it so what you will need is glue, of course. You will need scissors. You will need to have a, a clear plastic ornament. You can use glass if you have to, but plastic is better because it doesn't break um, unless you step on it or something. Uh, you will need to have googly eyes, but if you don't have googly eyes, what you can do is do like little circles in white paper. And then if you have a hole puncher, you can do a little black hole punch, like two of them. Then you can do a beak out of orange paper or the um, craft foam. I use the self stick craft foam, so it's really easy. You will need multicolors for feathers. And I just printed mine off of a template that's on the internet. I just pulled up feathers and it came up with all these different feathers that I could use to print up. And then I just made them the size I wanted and printed them and I used copy paper that was already colored to make it really easy. And then you will need a red little pipe cleaner that you've cut into a short piece. Or if you don't have any of these, you can cut just a little piece of red paper. Or if you don't have red paper, you can cut a piece of white paper and just color it red. And the same thing for the beak. You can just do a piece of white paper and color it orange if you want and then cut it out in a triangle shape and then for the stuffing in the inside you can either stuff it with something you like that's brown or you can use that um, the paper shreds that you can find at the dollar store it's usually in the gift bag section because people use it to put inside gift bags or, like me, I'm going to take just brown paper and I'm going to cut it into shreds. And then I'm going to kind of crumple the shreds up and put that inside. Or, if you have a paper sack at home, you can tear the paper sack into shreds and crumple it and use that on the inside. Or, I know that's a lot of ors. If you want it to be brown and you don't have anything really brown that you can think of, look in your pantry because I'm betting that somewhere in there you have some dried pinto beans. Dried, that is not canned, dried. Let me stress that. Um, and you can stick some dried pinto beans in there and it will be brown. So there's all kinds of choices. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out your feathers and you only need four. So you do four different colors or four of the same colors. That's up to you. But in the kit that I'm going to have up at the Carnegie that you can go in and get, it will have four different colors and it will have a red one like this one. It will have a green one, which I'm going to show you in just a second when I start cutting it. It'll have a green one, 
like this one. It will have an orange, I'm sorry, not, yeah, an orange one. And it will have a yellow one. But you know what? If you're into boy things, you can have boy colors. If you're a boy that likes girl colors, you can have girl colors and vice versa. If girls like boy colors, they can have boy colors. Or if they like girl colors, they can have girl colors. I mean, if you want a unicorn turkey ornament thing, you go. This is all up to you, however you want to do it. There is no wrong way to make this turkey. And honestly, if you do make a turkey unicorn, I would love for you to take a picture of it and show it to me. I would probably even put that picture up at the Carnegie so that everybody could see how cool it is. Because, you know, I love unicorns. They're like my favorite animal ever. And I know they exist. We just haven't found one yet. Right? They just hide. Maybe they're invisible. Who knows? I think one of these days, I'm going to see one. So, like I was saying, once you guys make yours, if you want to take a picture of it, you can put the picture up on Facebook or you can send it to me. My email is T Anderson, that's A N D E R S O N, at City of Noonan, that's C I T Y O F N E W N A N dot org. And I would love to see your pictures. So I've got all my feathers cut out. So our next step is we get to start gluing. Yay! Well, actually, before we start gluing, let's stuff. Because it's a lot harder to stuff once you have stuff glued because the things like to move around. So I'm what I'm doing now is just crumpling my papers. If you're going to use paper, like a paper sack or a paper like this, you should crumple yours too because I think it looks better. But you do you. If you don't want to crumple, don't crumple. Eh. And then whatever you're putting inside, you just start slipping it in the hole. And if you have a hard time getting it in the hole, like with the paper shred you buy from the Dollar Tree, Sometimes those are hard to get in. You can take a pair of scissors and kind of poke it in like this or a pencil and poke it in works or a finger fingers work, especially if your fingers are small like you guys. Some of the ornaments that I have at the Carnegie have a little smaller hole in them. So they're a little harder to stuff stuff in. So be careful sticking your fingers in there that they don't get caught. I don't want to call from angry parents saying, my son got his finger caught in an ornament. I don't want that. So don't stick your finger in where it gets caught. If it gets tight, pull it out. Don't keep going. That's not good. That's your public service message for today. So you keep stuffing this in until you think you have enough. And that's up to you. That's your personal opinion, what is enough. If you want it completely full where you can't put any more in, then that's the way you like it, fine. If you like it a little bit more empty, that's good too. And if it's a bigger mouth one like this one is, you can even put like jelly beans or something in there if you want. And in that case, you really want to fill it all the way up. Candy always wants to be full. So you'll have a good snack for later, right? Especially during Thanksgiving. That's probably one of the only times parents let their kids eat candy. Thanksgiving and Christmas, right? Maybe Easter. Halloween. Definitely Halloween, all the holidays. All right, so I'm on my last piece of paper 
And you younger guys out there, you might have to get help from your parents to get this top off because it's kind of hard. And all of you might have to have help with, from your parents to get it back on because that's even harder. Because you have to kind of put one side in and then push down. See, it's really hard. It's even hard for me. And push it in like that. And then make sure it's on there all the way around. Okay, so see, I have it in there and it's all brown and cool looking. So now we're ready to go to glue. And you're gonna glue like the face on first before you glue the feathers. So I'm gonna glue the eyes. And if you have googly eyes, you don't even have to go through this next step. You can just glue the googly eyes on and you'll be done. But if you're doing paper, like I am, you're gonna, you have to kind of have two steps instead of the one. You're gonna put the paper eyes on, the white part, like this. And then you're gonna have to put a little dab of glue on the on the white part, wherever you want. Like I like to make funny eyes, so I will have this one be cross-eyed. So I'm gonna put just a little dab where I want the, the black eyes to be. And the black eyes are a little harder because sometimes they like to stick to your fingers. So there's my googly eyes. See, he's, he's silly. So then you take your triangle, and if you get the kit from up at the Carnegie, it'll be a self-sticking uh, triangle. So you just take the back off of it and you stick it, okay? Now, <coughs> excuse me, the pointy end goes down. So look, he's starting to look like a bird. And now you want to do your uh, waddle. That's the red thing that hangs down. It's called a waddle. So you take your little uh, pipe cleaner or your piece of paper. Well, if it's a pipe cleaner, you want to make a little loop. So it'll look like this. You see, it's a loop that I've put together. And I always put, I put it where one end is longer than the other because I'm gonna kind of slip this end, end under the self-sticking beak. I'm gonna glue it too, but the self-sticking beak kind of keeps it in place while I glue. And you can do that with your paper waddle too. So I put a little glue and I'm sticking it and then my beak is going to kind of go over it like that. And see now it stays even though the glue is still dry. And that helps because our next step is going to be putting the feathers on. So we're going to kind of be handling it while the glue is still wet. So it helps it kind of stay on while we're working. So, like I said, our next step is putting the feathers on. Yay! So if you have a big round ornament, like mine is bigger around, you kind of want to put your feathers a little higher up so they can be seen. If your ornament is smaller, you kind of want to put your feathers a little lower, okay? And mine is kind of a flat ornament and I didn't put any of these in the kits so you don't have to worry about that. They're all round. And you want to have them splayed out like this, like a real turkey. And 
And this is the hardest part because the glue is slippery and it kind of doesn't want to stay on at first. So I kind of recommend that if you can and it works okay to lay it on its face while it's drying. And I love these fall colors, but like I said, you can do any color that you want on your turkey. This would be a great thing to do right after Thanksgiving dinner or right before even too, while you're waiting for Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm gonna blow on it. So while I'm waiting for this to dry a little bit, now the last thing is I don't have it with me, but if you have in your kit, you will have a little bitty three ounce Dixie cup made out of paper. And what you will do with that is you will cut off about half of the top, about this much of the top, and then you'll have about this much left of the bottom. And that will be your holder for your turkey. It will sit right, on, oop, I'm trying to drop it. It will sit right on top like this. And you can use that also to help it dry if you want to. And that can be its little turkey home. You can decorate it if you want, put brown paper on it, whatever. Stickers, whatever you wanna do with it. All right, so I think these are almost dry enough now. And while they're drying, you can still move them around if you don't like where they're at. Like my yellow one was way too far. My green one here is too far down. Okay. So there's my turkey ornament and yours will probably look similar, if not better, because you guys are better at this than I am. So, if you go to the Carnegie between, you know, tomorrow and Thanksgiving, um, we'll have these craft kits probably in the children's room. They're completely free of charge. So just pick one up. Um, we do ask that it be one per child. And um, just while supplies last, once the supply is gone, they're gone. So. You know, whenever you have time, just stop by and get one. Anyway, thanks for watching my craft today. And I hope you guys grab one because it is a lot of fun. Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.